What's up, social media? Hope everything is going good. Hope you're having a great day, great week, great year. And no matter what time you happen to see this video, hope that you make this the year that you be physically, mentally, and spiritually sound. Hope this is the year that you focus on self-improvement. Hope that this, this is the year that you reach the goals that you have set and that you focus on your making yourself better. It's all about improving your life, making yourself better. So no matter what your age, no matter what your sex, what, none of that's important. The only thing that's important is that you do your best, that you strive to make yourself a better person, a better version of yourself daily. In that vein, I want to offer three books that you need to read at least once during the year. And the first book, the book that I read all, almost every day is The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Wallace. This is a very sound book that will help you understand the law of attraction or the law of success. Because success in any endeavor takes certain steps. People that don't automatically become successful. People don't automatically finish first. People don't automatically finish last. But in order to finish first, you have to take such certain steps. And finishing first means being successful. Well, you want to be a lawyer, doctor, businessman, whatever endeavor. You have to take certain steps. And this book, Science of Getting Rich, deals with getting rich. Not just money, but you want to get rich financially. But it shows you how to get rich in every endeavor, every phase of your life. So I want to read eight steps in the summary from this book that I think is very important. It's the summary of the science of getting rich by Wallace Wallace. There is a thinking stuff from which all things are made and which in its original state permeates, penetrates, and fills the inner spaces of the universe. That first point, there's the thinking stuff from which all things are made. And this thinking stuff that we know is matter. Everything in the universe is made from the same substance. Rocks are made from the same substance that water is made. It's all this come from the same energy. It's matter. And he says, in its original state, this thinking stuff permeates, penetrates, and fills the inner space of the universe. Point two, a thought in this substance produces the thing that is imagined by the thought. Which goes to the point of the man thinking so is he. So your thoughts control your environment, basically. A thought in this substance, a thought on the thinking stuff, or creates or produces that thing which you think about. Number three, man can form things in his thought and by impressing his thought upon form the substance can cause the thing he thinks about to be created. So basically, you can create constructs in your mind. What you can think about, you can make happen. So the key is to improve your imagination. Begin to think outside of the box. Have a wider imagination to be able to think things, to be able to see yourself in better situations. Read that once again. Man can form things in his thought, in your mind, in his mind, his or her mind. And by impressing his thought upon form the substance, can cause the thing he thinks about to be created. Number four. In order to do this, man must pass from the competitive to the created mind. Otherwise, he cannot be in a harmony with the formless intelligence, which is always creative and never competitive in spirit. So we have to be in the creative mind, in the mind of creating, not in the mind of competing with someone or trying to take someone else's creation. Because you have to know that there's always enough to go around. We live in a boundless, unlimited universe. Prosperity flows everywhere. So, 
you have to get away from the mindset that you're not there's not gonna be enough. There's always enough. So you have to so think about creating, adding value, being more uh, original. All right, back to part two. Now, as we discussed in the first video, we left off with number four of the summary of the sound of getting rich. In order to do this, man must pass from the competitive to the creative mind. Otherwise, he cannot be in harmony with the form of intelligence. We know the form of intelligence is what we call God, the creator, the divine. Otherwise, he cannot be in harmony with the form of intelligence, which is always created and never competitive. So you have to come from the competitive, from out that competitive mindset and move into the creative framework, the creative mindset. And be about creating value to, in the world. Producing. Making people's lives better. So, stop being competitive. There's more than enough to go around. You're not going to lose your share. What's yours is yours. It's not going to someone else. So be about creating your own space. Be about creating your own destiny by forming thoughts in your mind and being around an environment that will cause those thoughts to grow, to produce. Let's go back over the first five. Number one, there's the thing and stuff of which all things are made. So everything is made from the same substance, the same energy and which in its original state this thinking stuff permeates penetrates and fills the inner spaces of the universe so everything creation is created from matter no matter if it's a tree as we said before it's a, something man-made plastic that's a man-made thing but it still comes from the same essence the same substance that a tree comes from of uh, the same substance that the human body comes from all come from the same energy it's in a different state vibrating on a different level number two a thought in this substance produces the thing that is imaged by the thought so what's in your mind is important what thought are you imaging in your mind because the thought in this original uh, this thinking stuff produces the thing that's imaged by the thought. Number three, man or woman, when we say man, we're talking about mind. We're talking about a, an intelligent being. We're not talking about just man from a physical standpoint. We're talking about an intelligent being. So when we say man, we're also talking about woman also. Man can form things to the thought. And by impressing his thought upon formless substance can cause the thing he thinks about to be created. Number four, in order to do this, man must pass from the competitive to the creative mind. Otherwise, he cannot be in harmony with the formless intelligence, which is always created and never competitive in spirit. Five, man may come to full harmony with the formless intelligence. Picking up from where we left, left at, but take two, some of the signs to get on rich. We're looking at number five. Man may come to a full harmony with the form of substance by entertaining a lively and sincere gratitude for the blessing it bestows upon him. Gratitude unifies the mind of man with the intelligence of substance, so that man's thoughts are received by the formless. Man can remain upon the creative plane only by uniting himself with the formless intelligence through a deep and continuous, continuous feeling of gratitude. So you have to be grateful. You have to have show gratitude. You have to have the attitude of gratitude in order to have things manifest. So the manifesto is first to know that everything is energy. Everything vibrates on a different level. And you have to know that what you think in your mind, your thoughts 
have power. They have, they affect the energy. So, the count, what you form in your mind, it has an effect on the thinking stuff. It has, a, has a, it has an effect on the energy. So, that's why you have to be careful what thoughts you put in your mind. Yes. Now, let's go to number six. Man must form a clear and definite mental image of the things he wishes to have, to do, or to become. He must hold his, this mental image in his thoughts while being deeply grateful to the Supreme that all his desires are granted to him. The man who wishes to get rich must spend his leisure hours in contemplating his vision and in earnest thanksgiving that, he, that the reality is being given to him. Too much stress cannot be laid on the on the importance of frequent contemplation of the mental image, coupled with unwavering faith and devout gratitude. This is the process by which the impression is given to the formless and the creative force is set in motion. So, once again, you have to have the attitude of gratitude. You have to see what you want, envision it, and you be grateful for divine substance be grateful for God, for the Creator, bringing it to you. You have to see it as if you already have it. And know that your thoughts are bringing it about. Not in a mystical way, as Wallace Waller explains, and also Napoleon Hill. It's not in a mystical way. It's going to happen in the way that the earth is designed, in the economics that is in force at this time. You're going to get it through a, maybe a new job, maybe a new opportunity at work, anything. But the, it will happen if you see it first. Then be grateful for God or the Creator, whatever term you, you prefer, giving it to you. So, number six. Once again, man must form a clear and definite mental image of the things he wishes to have, to do, or to become. He must hold this mental image in his thoughts while being deeply grateful to the Supreme that all his desires are granted to him. The man who wishes to get rich must spend his leisure hours in contemplating his vision and in earnest thanksgiving that the reality is being given to him. Too much stress cannot be laid on the importance of frequent contemplation of the mental image, coupled with unwavering faith and devout gratitude. Look at point seven in the Sermon of the Sound of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Wallace. As we were talking earlier, the way you receive your blessings is not mystical. You will receive those blessings based on the way the world currently works. And he explains this by saying, the created energy works through the established channels of natural growth and of the industrial and social order. So it's going to be not anything from the mystical realm, but from the natural social order that you are functioning in at the moment. All that is included in this, in his image, in his mental image, when we say his, we're talking about the woman also, will surely be brought to the man who follows the instructions given above and whose faith does not waver. What well, he wants will come to him through the ways of established trade and commerce. And, and, and number eight, in order to receive his own when it shall come to him, man must be active. And that this activity can only consist in more than filling his present place. He must keep in mind the purpose to get rich through the realization of his mental image and he must do every day all that can be done that day. Take care to do each act in a successful manner. He must give to every man or woman a use value in excess of the cash value he receives so that each transaction makes for more life and he must so hold the advancing thought that the impression of increase will be communicated to all of whom he comes in contact. The men and women who practice the foregoing instruction will certainly get rich. And the riches they receive will be in exact proportion to the definiteness of their vision, the fixity of their purpose, the steadiness of their faith, and the depth of their gratitude. So, 
Wallace Wallace sum summarizes the science of getting rich of the master key to success because when you're successful, you're rich. He summarizes you have to know that everything is energy. Everything comes from the think. The thinking stuff creates created everything. The thinking stuff, the mind of the creator, the divine. Everything comes from one source, and everything is energy, just vibrating on the di on on different frequencies, different levels. You have to have your your mind focused on what you want, and then you have to be grateful, show gratitude. And don't be in competition with your fellow man. Create your own. Be in the creative mode, not the competitive mode. And you'll be successful no matter what your endeavors are. So we want to close it. Read the sign of getting rich. You get uh, if you read it, you'll get I tried to summarize it, but if you read it, you'll really get more out of it. Put that as part of your daily reading. I read try to read it every day. You can see this is worn. I've been reading it. Every day. So, till next video. Hope you had a good, hope you're having a good life. Have your best life. Peace. I'm trying to see if I'm recording. I think, I'm, I think I messed up. I'm, I'm recording. All right. So, summarize The Law of Success by Napoleon Hill. There are four volumes. I was, it's very, uh, it's a very scientific, um, scholarly book. So take your time, study it, pen and paper, pen, pen, pen and paper. Also, dollars won't mean a very small. You can read this in one sitting, probably take you 30 minutes. But I would read it at least once a week. I'll try to read it every day if possible. Another small book, Science of Getting Rich, probably take you about an hour. Read that. I would, I would try to read some of it daily. And then, the Millionaires of Genesis, I would at least read the first book. The first book of the Millionaires of Genesis talks about Adam, the first millionaire, mystical millionaire, because he was in the Garden of Eden. He had everything. He had abundance. He had everything. Then, talks about Abraham. Melchizedek, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, and then Ruth. They were all millionaires. And uh, although not mentioned, Solomon was a billionaire. As well as uh, Joseph, more likely, was a billionaire. In fact, she said that Joseph was the first billionaire. Now, and then another book that a lot of people in the conscious movement sleep on is The Game of Life by Florence Scoville Shin. This is a very good book also. So I would I would advise you to check that book out also. Also, try to read the paper copy. Try to avoid the, the Kindle. You get more if you read the paper copy. If you read the paper, pen and paper. Uh, ink, in, ink on paper. So try to read the paper. Try to read as much as possible. Leaders are readers. Readers lead. So read to lead. Lead to read. So that's all I want to talk about today. Once again, my name is Hassan Jabal, Sacred Life Connections Health and Wealth. Sacred Life Connections Health and Welfare. We, uh, we deal with physical development, physical fitness, we deal with the food and nutrition that you uh, put in your body, we deal with your mental state, your mental well-being, uh, we, we have life coaches, I'm, a, I'm also a life coach, we deal with your spiritual development. We're not a church. We don't. We're not trying to convert your, change your religion, but we try to help you to understand the spirit, your spiritual aspect, and your need to have a spiritual alert awareness. Spirituality and religion are two different things. A lot of people who go to church will have no spiritual development. So 
we, we try to help you spiritually also. So on four levels, we try to we try to deal with you. And the third, fourth component is the fiscal, financial component. We advise you to get with a financial coach also. So physically, mentally, and spiritually, and then physically or financially. So thank you for just watching this video. If you stay here this long, we appreciate it. If you like videos dealing with health, wellness, positivity, the law of attraction, the law of opulence, the law of profusion, because that's where it all comes from. You want to live with profuse, you want to be profusely wealthy. Profusely wealthy means being wealthy in every sense of being of, of being wealthy. I mean, your your health is outstanding. Your bank account is outstanding. Your relationship with your family that's outstanding. You have friends in all walks of life. Yes. So seek to be emotionally balanced. Also. So you want to have, as the great man once said, you want to have friends in all walks of life. So you want to have connections. You want to have net. You want to. You want to have networks. So subscribe to the channel if you have already already subscribed like the video leave a comment so until next time keep your mind focused on what you want to accomplish remember that man means mind I think it therefore I am I am what I think about so be conscious of what you think about until then peace